myself, Professor S. M. Mutt from Walchen Institute of Technology, Solapur, from Mechanical Engineering Department. Today, I am going to engage regarding the next lecture of the steady flow energy equation. In the previous lecture, I am going to explain the basic thing regarding mass entering in that system and mass leaving from that system. So, the basic concept already I am explaining. So, in that basic concept, whatever the flow of mass entering in the system and mass leaving from that system, all the energy transactions with the physical and other properties are remain the same. So, this concept we used for the different purposes in our daily life. So, now from today's lecture, I am going to engage regarding the water turbine, that is the hydraulic turbine and the centrifugal pump. So, now I am going to explain this thing. So, in the first diagram here, that water is moving from, this is this basic concept is the water turbine is basically used in the hydroelectric power plant. The water is moving from higher side to the lower side. When the water is to be trapped at the higher side in the dam, when it allows from higher side to the lower side through this penstock pipe, and that water is to be injected on this turbine blades. When the water is to be get collides with that blade, it imparts its own motion. So due to that motion, its energy, uh, blade rotates. So when the blades are rotated, the shaft get rotated and then shaft get rotated, you get a rotational mechanical energy. And this rotational mechanical energy is transmitted to the generator. So now, <coughs> when I have to apply the steady flow energy equation, so what are the basic formulas and how to calculate the different forms of energy related to the hydraulic turbine and water turbine, okay. Now basically the general equation of the steady flow energy are whatever the inputs and output values are here, the input values and output values, the input values and the output values are mass is equal to m1 and output value is m2. So here the output also is called as the exit and the input is at the inlet. Then the pressure it is p1 and at the exit level it is p2. Then velocity that is C1, C2, specific volume at the inlet V1, V2, height of the inlet from the datum that for the inlet you noted as a Z1 and at the exit it is Z2, then enthalpy at the exit you can note it as H1 and at the exit H2 and internal energy that is a U1 and U2. So these are the values for the inlet and exit. Mass M1 is M2, pressure P1, exit P2, velocity C1 at the inlet, at the exit is C2, specific volume V1 at the exit it is V2 height is Z1, it is Z2, enthalpy H1 for the inlet noted as the exit for H2 and internal energy U1 and U2. So these are the cross section for inlet and this is a cross section for exit. So when the mass is entering in that system and the same mass is leaving from that system. So here is a M1 and here is a M2. So now he says that m mass is equal to m1 is equal to m2. So when you know all these values, the general equation you can write for this one as, <coughs> so when that constant flow mass of that system, steady flow mass of that system, here you get the work noted as a shaft work or you have to supply the heat or rejects the heat. 
both or vice versa so q and r <coughs> this is the first law of thermodynamics by the first law of thermodynamics says that q is equal to u plus w where u is noted as a internal energy of that system now here the kinetic energy is equal to half m c square potential energy is equal to m g z internal energy noted as a u enthalpy h is equal to flow of work is equal to u plus p so these are the values these are the formulas we can use for the steady flow energy equation so when you know this all these basic i recall all these things that is general equations mass entering that system mass leaving from that system now we have to apply for this for the uh, this hydroelectric turbine this hydroelectric turbine when water entering in the system and water leaving from that system it imparts its motion and you get the work output from that system and when the work output from that system you, you had assume it is the positive work now for this hydro lick turbine or water turbine the general steady flow energy equation s f e e general steady flow equation is q plus mass into bracket kinetic energy at the inlet plus potential energy at the inlet plus flow of work 1 at the inlet is equal to work done at the exit to mass m1 here it is a mass m2 so kinetic energy at the exit plus potential energy at the exit plus flow of work at the exit so it is a general equation general steady flow energy equation so when this no general steady flow equation in here in this case the some values are to be zero or closer to the zero so before that first we have to put the values of kinetic energy potential energy and flow of work so therefore the formula you can write as a q is equal to m mass 1 into bracket kinetic energy is a v uh, uh, c1 square by 2 potential energy is a g z1 plus flow of work you recall as a this value is called as a enthalpy h1 is equal to work plus mass m2 into bracket kinetic energy c2 square by 2 plus potential energy z z2 plus enthalpy h2 so this is a general equation where we put the values and all these things now rearrange these values so q minus w is equal to mass here in this case m1 minus m2 into bracket <coughs> as uh, one more thing as m1 is equal to m2 so write down here mass m1 into bracket change in kinetic energy that is c2 square minus c1 square by 2 plus potential energy g z2 minus z1 plus h2 minus h1 this is general equation so from this value q minus w is equal to mass m1 is equal to m2 is equal to write as a mass m because mass entering in that system and mass leaving from the system is the same one <coughs> so it is a c2 square by c1 square by 2 and all these things so for this condition here the change in internal energy is zero and velocity is equal to zero 
So in this enthalpy, we write as a H is equal to flow of work, where H is equal to U plus P V. So put these values: C two square minus C one square by two plus G into bracket Z two minus Z one plus <coughs> instead of H two, you can write U two plus P V two minus U one plus P V one. It rearrange that mass into bracket c2 square minus c1 square by 2 g into bracket z2 minus z1 plus u2 minus u1 plus p2 v2 minus p1 v1 where q minus w is equal to a so for this turbine here q is equal to 0 Internal energy is equal to zero, and velocity is equal to zero. So therefore, work done Q is equal to zero. Work done minus W M into bracket. You can write <coughs> C two square minus C one square by two plus G into bracket Z two minus Z one. Plus u two minus u one is equal to zero. Plus p two v two minus p one v one. So these are the values when I go for a change of work for turbine. Okay. So this is the general equation. When you can use steady flow energy equation, we can apply it for uh, turbines. Thank you.